If you've ever driven an electric car, you've probably noticed a few quirks, little things that most people don't talk about. There's the faint vibration, occasional odd sounds under load, and those nagging questions about how reliable these systems will be over the long haul, especially with the complicated permanent magnet motors they use. But underneath all that is a much bigger problem that doesn't get nearly enough attention. Almost every EV motor on the road today relies on rare earth materials, and China controls the vast majority of that supply. That kind of monopoly doesn't just raise concerns, it locks the whole industry into a vulnerable and risky path. But what if Tesla is quietly building a way out? There are strong rumors pointing to something big on the horizon, a next-gen water-cooled motor being developed for the upcoming 2025 Tesla Model 2. It's a bold new design that could completely eliminate the need for rare earths. That's something Colin Campbell, one of Tesla's top engineers, hinted at during Tesla's Investor Day. As the world moves toward clean energy, he said, the demand for rare earths is going through the roof. But not only is meeting that demand a challenge, the mining process comes with serious environmental and health risks. We think we can do even better. Our next drive unit, which still uses a permanent magnet motor, won't need any rare earth materials at all. If Tesla really pulls this off, it could be the beginning of the end for China's stronghold on EV technology. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and help Auto Intel get to 1000 subscribers, because you don't want to miss what's coming next. So, what's the big issue with today's EV motors? The majority of electric vehicles today, including most Tesla Model 3 and Model Y units, run on permanent magnet synchronous motors, or PMSMs. These motors are popular because they're compact, super efficient, and deliver great torque. But they're Achilles heel. They rely heavily on rare earth elements like neodymium, dysprosium, and terbium. These materials are expensive and tough on the environment to extract. Even more concerning, they're a massive geopolitical risk. As of 2023, China handles around 87% of the world's rare earth refining and more than 60% of total mining output, according to the International Energy Agency. So when you look at the supply chain behind nearly every PM motor in production, including the ones in Tesla's own vehicles, it all traces back to one country. That's a risky position to be in. In fact, back in 2023, China restricted exports of gallium and germanium. It was a clear reminder that access to key materials can be used as a geopolitical weapon. If they made a similar move with rare earths, the entire global EV industry could grind to a halt. Then there's price volatility. The cost of neodymium oxide, a crucial component in these motors, more than doubled between 2020 and 2023. From around $45,000 per metric ton to over $90,000 at its peak. That kind of wild price swing makes it hard for automakers to plan ahead and add serious costs to EV production. And let's not forget the environmental side of it. Mining rare earths produces enormous waste. For every ton of rare earth extracted, you get roughly one ton of radioactive waste, 75,000 liters of acidic wastewater, and up to 1,000 tons of tailings, often loaded with heavy metals. Places like Bayou in Inner Mongolia, China's rare earth hub, are already seeing the effects, polluted groundwater, radiation exposure, and long-term ecological damage. In response to all this, Tesla is reportedly working on something revolutionary for its upcoming Model 2, a motor that ditches rare earths entirely. If successful, this shift could help Tesla escape China's rare earth monopoly, simplify motor production, and reduce environmental harm. And this could be the most significant change in EV motor design since lithium-ion batteries were first introduced. It could also tilt the balance of power in the global EV market. So, what exactly is a water-based motor? Instead of using rare earth permanent magnets, which come with all the baggage we just talked about, this new design relies on copper coil-based electromagnetic induction to generate torque. It's not only a cleaner option, but it also makes the motor design a whole lot simpler. 
copper is way more abundant and widely available than neodymium or dysprosium. Global copper reserves exceed 870 million metric tons, according to the USGS. At the heart of this new system is a sealed, high-pressure smart cooling loop that uses a water glycol mix. It's similar to what you'd find in high-end data centers and liquid-cooled computing systems. This cooling loop is designed to keep motor temperatures just right, even under heavy loads, improving thermal efficiency and helping parts last longer. Reports say the system runs at pressures between 20 and 40 psi and keeps the motor in an optimal range of 50 to 80 degrees Celsius, even during hard acceleration or steep climbs. That's a major step up from traditional air-cooled systems or low-efficiency coolants used in older EVs. Also, unlike permanent magnet motors, which are bulky and tough to recycle, the water-based motor is modular and easier to take apart at the end of its life. Tesla's engineers have apparently managed to reduce the motor's weight by up to 18% and cut manufacturing steps by over 30% compared to their current Gen 4 drive units. That means faster, cheaper, and greener production. The inspiration for all this? It actually comes from liquid-cooled server racks used in high-performance computing, as well as hydraulic-electric hybrid drives used in heavy equipment. Some of the same cooling tech that Tesla developed for its Dojo supercomputer, used to train AI for self-driving, has been adapted to manage heat in this new motor setup. Think this could be the boldest EV innovation since the original Roadster? Drop off water in the comments if you believe Tesla's new motor could shake up the whole industry. Now, let's talk power. According to leaked internal test results and credible industry sources, the 2025 Tesla Model 2 is expected to come with a brand new water-cooled motor producing somewhere between 370 and 400 horsepower. That's pretty wild for a so-called entry-level EV, especially when most compact electric cars are putting out around 150 to 200 horsepower. Torque is expected to top 500 newton meters giving it the kind of off-the-line pull you'd normally see in much bigger vehicles. That makes the Model 2 feel snappy both around town and on the highway. Early tests suggest it could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 5.7 seconds, that's quicker than a Toyota Camry and even beats out some current Tesla Model 3 trims. This performance boost comes from a 400-volt electrical system combined with that advanced water glycol cooling setup, which prevents the motor from overheating and losing power. Unlike older air-cooled EV motors that throttle performance during long drives or hill climbs, this one is built to keep running at full power even when the going gets tough. It's not just about power, either. Without permanent magnets, there's no cogging effect, that annoying vibration caused by magnetic resistance. The result? A smoother, Quiet a ride, especially noticeable at low speeds or in stop and go traffic. Internal testing shows a noise reduction of up to 40% compared to Tesla's current Gen 3 motors. Plus, the new design is lighter and more compact, which means more room inside the cabin and trunk, huge for a smaller sedan. Tesla insiders say the new motor setup could shave around 60 pounds off the total drivetrain weight. That's great for handling and help stretch your range, too. And get this, all of that performance and refinement is expected to go into a car that could cost less than $11,990. That's a game changer, especially when you compare it to the current average price of around $29,000 for compact EVs. The new motor will also be integrated with Tesla's Drive OS, which uses AI to fine-tune torque delivery based on your driving style and terrain. That means better cornering, more grip on wet or icy roads, and a smarter driving experience, no full self-driving needed. And hey, if you're liking this breakdown so far, don't forget to subscribe to Auto Intel. We're diving into all the breakthroughs shaping the EV world, and your support helps us keep bringing you the latest tech and industry insights. Now let's talk about a question a lot of people are asking, can a water-based motor really handle extreme weather? We get it, water and electric motors might not sound like a great combo, especially in places where winters hit hard or summers are blazing hot. But Tesla's engineers seem to have thought this through with what they're calling a smart coolant system. 
It uses a glycol-based liquid with special nano-additives to keep it stable in a wide range of temperatures. Lab tests show it can handle freezing conditions down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit in simulated Arctic environments. And in simulated Texas or Arizona heat, the system held up well past 120 degrees Fahrenheit without boiling over or losing efficiency. What really makes this system tough is its sealed and pressurized closed-loop design. That means there's no risk of coolant evaporation or contamination. And according to Tesla, it doesn't need any regular maintenance throughout the vehicle's life. The system also includes smart sensors that constantly monitor and adjust temperature and pressure in real time. The onboard software learns from things like elevation, speed, and even how you drive to optimize cooling as you go. Interestingly, some of the principles behind this cooling tech actually come from SpaceX engine systems, where liquid-cooled parts need to perform flawlessly in space and during high heat re-entry. So while this isn't space tech per se, the thinking behind it is very much rooted in high-stakes engineering. So whether you're facing icy mornings in Minnesota or desert afternoons in Nevada, this water-cooled motor is built to keep running. Drop a comment with the first place you'd want to take it, road trip, mountain pass, wherever. And now, let's zoom out a bit. Is this the strategic shift the world's been waiting for? For over a decade, China has held a tight grip on the global EV supply chain, mostly because it controls up to 87% of rare earth mineral refining, according to the IEA. That control helped Chinese automakers like BYD, Xpeng, and NIO scale up fast and outpace many Western brands. Their edge has come from easy access to rare earths, materials like neodymium, dysprosium, and terbium, that are critical for most EV motors today. But if Tesla's new water-based design works, it could be the first serious challenge to that dominance. By cutting rare earths out of the equation entirely, Tesla would eliminate what many experts see as the West's biggest EV weakness. And this isn't just about Tesla, Ford, GM, and Toyota have all started exploring similar rare earth free motors, based on recent filings and R&D updates. If Tesla can bring this new motor to market at scale, especially in a car priced around $11,000, it could start a global shift in how electric vehicles are built. This doesn't mean cutting China off or picking a fight. It means automakers would no longer be locked into a single resource stream. It's about resilience. Flexibility. A diversified supply chain that can actually handle the future. So what does all this mean for everyday drivers? First, it could lead to way lower vehicle prices. Without rare earths, those costly, imported materials, Tesla can simplify the whole production process. Early estimates suggest this could cut drivetrain costs by up to 25%, which helps explain how the Model 2 could start under $11,990. Second, the new design improves efficiency. Lighter motors and smarter cooling mean more range for less energy. Tesla's internal data shows a 15% boost in energy efficiency per mile. That's big, especially if you live in an area with limited charging options or high electricity rates. Third, it lowers long-term maintenance. Permanent magnets can wear down or lose strength over time, especially in high heat conditions. With no magnets to worry about, this new system avoids that problem. The advanced cooling also keeps wear on the rotor and stator to a minimum, which could extend the motor's lifespan by several years. Fourth, it's built for real-world budgets. Whether you're retired and living on a fixed income, commuting long distances for work, or trying to save money for your family, this new motor helps make EVs more affordable without sacrificing performance or reliability. And finally, it works in all climates. From freezing winters to blazing summers, the water-based system has been designed to handle it all. If Tesla's new water-cooled motor lives up to the hype, it's not just a technical upgrade, it's a massive leap forward for the entire EV industry. By moving away from rare earths, Tesla is setting the stage for a more stable, accessible, and sustainable future. Would you trust a water-based motor over traditional magnets? Let us know in the comments below.
And don't forget to subscribe to Auto Intel, we're on a mission to hit 1000 subscribers, and with your support, we're getting closer every day. Hit that bell so you never miss a major breakthrough like this one.